and number five and AC source has that output voltage 300 sine omega t the source is connected to 100 this is R 120 ohm resistor calculate RMS voltage so now this is a uh, 300 here is V naught. So if you relate to the VRMS, is equal to V naught divided by square root two. So we can find the value of VRMS because V naught is equal to 300 and divided by square root two. So VRMS is equal to 212 VRMS 212 volt. So next is uh, number two, calculate the RMS current. So you have a resistor here, 120 ohm, and you have a VRMS, answer number one is 212 volt. So now you can find the value of RMS by using the equation, so V is equal to IR, or RMS is equal to VRMS divided by R and the VRMS is equal to 212 and resistor is equal to 120 so IRMS is equal to 1.77 ampere okay. number 3 calculate average power deliver so average power deliver P average power deliver is power is equal to IRMS time V RMS. So from the answer number uh, one, we have a V RMS is equal to 212 and I RMS is equal to 1.77. So you can find the power average uh, is equal to power, sorry, average power deliver is equal to 375 watt. Right? And number four, what is RMS voltage if the frequency double? So when frequency increase, so what happened to the uh, V RMS? So as you know, the V RMS, if you cut the equation, is equal to V naught square root by two, meaning if the frequency increase, if the V naught is constant, so the value of the uh, VRMS is remain the same. So next question, number B1, impedance of the circuit. So you have an AC circuit, so this is a VRMS, sorry, v, uh, V0 is equal to 120 volt, and you have the frequency is equal to 15 hertz, and connected to series circuit R, 900 ohm and inductor L is equal to 2.40 and this is Henry and you have a capacitance C is 10 microfarad okay so now this is a RCL circuit right you have the resistor capacitor and inductor so number one is impedance so as we know number one to calculate the impedance Z equation for the impedance is square root r square plus xl minus xc right so uh, rc or r sorry r is a 900 xl you can find the xl by using the equation xl is equal to 2 phi fl and the xc or xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc so you can use the value of the uh, c here is a 10 microfarad and the frequency is a 50 hertz and uh, here l inductor is a 2.40 and the frequency 15 hertz so you can find the value of the xc uh, sorry this is square right square right so if you use the calculator, the final answer for the impedance is 1000 ohm. Okay, number two. This angle 
of the circuit. So to calculate the base angle, can you use the equation tangent theta is equal to uh, xl minus xc divided by r. So all the value for xl, xc, you can find the value of xl here sorry xc here xl here and this is r so you can use the uh, equation here so you can find the value of the theta here is equal to 25.8 degree right so this is number two okay number three power factor so power factor you can use the equation power factor okay or cos theta right so now power factor or cos theta so now this is a cos theta you can find from the the value from the answer number number two is 25.8 so this is, is equal to uh, 0 0.9 right Okay, so number three, so that's all, thank you.